Let's uh, develop an expression for steady state diffusion. Uh, this could be for uh, either gases or liquids, uh, for example, in solids. So we will use a fixed law of uh, diffusion uh, that states that m dot a divided by a equals minus dab times dca over dx. Now, in a previous tutorial, we saw all these terms. Uh, m dot a is the mass of component A uh, that is diffusing. Uh, it's a mass flow rate, so it's kilograms per second. A is the area in square meters. Uh, DAB is the diffusivity of A in B. And uh, DCA is the uh, concentration uh, gradient in uh, direction x. So if we separate the variables in this differential equation, uh, we have m dot a divided by a uh, times dx equals minus dab times dca. Since x and the concentration are the two variables and we have separated them in this expression. Next, we can integrate, uh, and uh, we have m dot a divided by a, and then we integrate dx from some location x1 to x2, and that equals minus dab, uh, and uh, we have the integral from ca1, that is the concentration at location x1, which is ca1, and then concentration ca2, and uh, in the integral, we have dCA. So we evaluate these uh, integrals. Uh, these are simple integrals. So uh, we get m dot a divided by a. And in parentheses, we have x2 minus x1. And that equals minus dAB. And in parentheses, we have ca2 minus ca1. So we can write down then our integrated expression as m dot a divided by a equals dab and in parentheses we have ca1 minus ca2 divided by x2 minus x1. So this gives us an expression to determine the mass flux uh, and uh, due to molecular diffusion uh, when there is a certain concentration gradient. Of course, this was for rectangular coordinates. Uh, if you have a cylindrical shape, uh, we can also obtain an expression. Uh, we will leave it up to you to uh, carry out that simple integration. The uh, uh, expression you will get is m dot a equals dab times 2 pi L, where L will be the length of the cylinder, and in parentheses, CA1 minus CA2, and divided by natural log of R2 divided by R1, where R1 and R2 are the two radii of the cylinder, the inside radius R1 and outside radius R2. Note that we have followed the uh, steady state conditions for these uh, solutions. That means that the concentrations at the boundaries are constant with time, that the diffusion is limited to molecular motion within the solid. So uh, we have a porous solid and it's either gas or liquid that is diffusing, but it is diffusing due to molecular motion, not by convection and that diffusivity is not influenced by concentration and because we used a constant term for diffusivity, that DAB, and also that there are no temperature gradients within the solid. So those are some of the assumptions that are used to carry out this solution.